ever so slightly crosswind today. And when you're doing this, it feels like you're walking on concrete on the flat. Get the wing to do all the work. You can see lower down how little disturbance there is in the sand. You guys are fine there. It's called the paraglider. The only thing to watch out for is any sand falling off the boots. But, yep, but you're fine there. It's more likely to drop backwards. Yep, that's the name of the game. And if this thing's still recording, that'll be on YouTube in a day or so. And then back down and then back up again. And touch. And cover the front off simply by stepping into wind. Yep. You want to touch it? Hang on. Not the lines though, because the lines could be sharp. So just wait a minute. There you go. Now it's going up. Watch for the lines. Just like that. Well, youngest years ago, there was a couple of sisters. Uh, Tori and Hannah, their mum and their stepdad were here. We were out just having a fun day and I had the tandem with me but the wind was the right direction. So they both had a flight. Oh, so up for about half an hour each. But definitely not the right wind direction today. Ah. Normally when it's like this, but if it wasn't quite so strong and gusty, just go along and fly the cliffs. But. Uh, might fly them later on, it depends what the wind does, but you don't want to cut your margins, there's always another day. Watch it. You gotta watch, because if you go too far into the hole, when it's like this, you get disturbed air from the dunes at the front. And back to where I start. I'm afraid not. Ready? Oh, my fault, I missed. Most of the control is by turning in the harness. Use the wee assist occasionally. Slow with the brakes.
So not holding, just pressing, giving me more harness control. It's a conscious, not just human, you know, monkey grab branch. And there you can see how little mark is on the sand because I'm getting the wing most of the time. I do 99% of the work. can't control with the harness and you have to use the brakes, don't even think of trying this. Dive! Whew. I can feel definite lumps and bumps there. It's a great thing with the vertex, it gives you so much information. So when you get rotor, when you get wake, anything like that, Wake's a good example actually. If you wake from another aircraft flying past you, maybe 100 feet away, lower down. And it should stick with your family though. Your mum will be worried about you. The other one's at the bottom of the dune. That's your mum for you. helps keep it down, which is why I spend so much time telling retraining students not to look at the wing. Yeah, that's what I was saying to her. You've got horses, you've got dogs, water, plus strangers. Right, launching. Take for some juice. Oh, definitely much gustier now. So again, it's not gripping. Just when I need to press. Better input from the harness, and often it's done like that. You don't want your hand facing the risers. That would 
give you a 10 second grip. I also got the speed bars hanging down a wee bit at the moment, so I need the keepers just to get it clear. Tip to tip to tip to. No, nah. frisbee. So if I can keep just enough, and if the wind's just enough onto the dune, not 100% crossed, I can get a faster walk along. But that is dubious. PBM, PBM, how can I help you? Hi. Okay, no idea what that call was about. So harness plus a tiny touch of brake to help. <laughs> Very mixy here. Possible if I can get round this bit. The big if. But I will get a tiny touch of lift there. Yeah, it's slightly better than I thought they would have been, but not by much. <laughs> and flick. So, best thing to do is drop the wing. Let her nose over, nice and slow. But we'll see. Now, escape out. Let me see why. That's a lot of gusting there. So, as you come down, slip around to reverse, stay down. Now, I don't want the fine sand in. So I'll put the roll on ski. Oh, I've got the wrong hand. That. And more like the wind speed I was talking about earlier. Second, check the airspace. Okay, so J ball. <laughs> now, normally I just go down there, but can't be bothered with the extra walk, so push, dive, let it front up, down. Ease and show lift. Fine dry sand, that sort of thing, always tends to just fall over the place. There we go. So I'll 
slide and gather, slide and gather, slide and gather. And now, on six feet in roughly for the wingtip. about six foot, it's not that critical. Take the airspace, let the wing open out, there we go. And that way you only get a tiny bit of wing tip powering up. On a normal wing you won't get any wing tip powering up, but this has got a big span. Disconnecting speed system, but not the glider. If it does take off, you want to be attached to the side. Only when you're ready and you've done all your checks, do you release the glider nice and promptly, both sides having prepped everything. Check the airspace. There we go, and then I've got lock in the safeties so that if it was to drag, it can't fly. You don't have to worry about some helpful soul grabbing a glider and getting flown off a cliff. Brakes love to tangle. So you want to reach above the brake, see it's already tangled, and get the brake back to its pulley, check the airspace, get the brake back to its pulley by reeling it in. Same there, reach above, reel it back, check the airspace. Okay, get most of the lines in straight away. All very neat. Take tension off onto the leading edge. Bingo, done. Now remember to check your reserve if you fly with a reserve. Harness off. Aye.